Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of the Iron Man Experience. As you can see, we are still here doing this barbarian fishing, but it might be time to get into some questing, among other things. Enjoy! I decided to test out my RNG here to see how easy it will be for me to get a rune scimitar, because that would be really handy now that I have the attack level of 40, so it's a 1 in 50 drop from these Zamorak warriors. So let's test my RNG for the first time on the account and see how lucky we can get. Oh, we've got a cave lizard attacking us as well. That's no good, but we'll figure that out. Do we have the first KC magic? Can we do it on the first kill? No. All right, so we ended up getting the rune scimitar, and we also picked up 44 magic while we were here, and training on defensive casting spells, we also picked up 15 defense, so... Um, it was a 1 in 50 drop rate on the rune semi. I'm going to say it probably took closer to 100 kills to get it, so like closer to 2x drop rate. I picked up the other 1 in 50 drop, the Adamant Longsword, earlier, so this is my second trip back here. We went and did some barb fishing up to 76, now 50 agility, 51 strength, so we're going to stick with that barb fishing. I think I'm going to get it to 81 before I start doing the um, angler outfit grind at the uh, Port Cazard there, the fishing trawler, so let's get back to it. And with one more fish, we will have level 80 fishing. There it is. That means infernal eels. With one more level, we can do manta rays. And it's at level 81 that I'm going to go to the fishing trawler to get the angler outfit. Just so I can collect some manta rays while I'm there. Those will be nice food. And it probably would have been most efficient to get the angler outfit before starting this barbarian fishing grind. But I just wanted to wait till 81. And look at that. The inventory's full. We're also, um, we also accumulated this elite clue, which is kind of funny because I probably won't be able to do it forever with my stats and quests and everything, but uh, that's cool. Also accumulated a hard one, but the one that would be really nice to get would be the medium. And the medium would be nice so that I could get the ranger boots, and hopefully that RNG test isn't one that takes forever also. But for now, I think we'll get back to the questing grind, so let's do that. Aaron is the chicken complete for big easy quest points. And there is the imp catcher quest complete, 65 quest points now. Here we have level 45 magic which unlocks teleport to Camelot. I realize that having this would be really helpful for getting over to Camelot very easily. And so I was like 400 experience away so I just went ahead and came over here to pick this up. But now I'm going to go complete Vampire Slayer. Vampire Slayer complete. There is the Grand Tree completed, five big quest points, 18,400 big attack experience, Gnome Glider access, that'll be helpful moving forward, total quest points 70, that boosts attack from 40 to 44, very nice. And there's Nature Spirit complete, that's going to give us crafting level 34, and hit points level 35, defense level 20. Yippee! Alright, recruitment drive done! Let's see what that did for us. Level 32 prayer, level 32 herbler, styling. We cut the rubies that we had in the bank, made them rubies, so that's crafting level 42. And there is level 85 fishing which means dark crabs in the wilderness. We're now at 60 strength, 60 agility, and the big thing about 60 agility is access to the Sears Village course. Once we're done with barb fishing, we're gonna spend some time there getting marks of grace for the graceful outfit. But uh, you'll also notice I'm not wearing the angler outfit, and I made the decision not to go for it for that extra 2.5% experience fishing, just because the time it would take to obtain the outfit at the fishing trawler minigame is just, not really worth it and it's expensive for me to buy the swamp paste to play the mini game right now so i just made the decision not to do that so we're just gonna go without it um here's me in the process of completing um the holy grail quest for the big prayer and defense experience and i'm splashing on this black knight titan like a ma so um i hope my 537 casts of fire strike are gonna do it 
Um, otherwise, I'll come back with maybe Fire Bolt, and maybe that will do it, but let's hope this happens for me. Yikles. Nice, we did it. Let's go. That is Holy Grail complete. Big defense and prayer experience. That will bring prayer right up to 30. Very nice. And defense to 33. And I just got literally so lucky that I had enough herbs from Winter Tot to get level 26 herb lore. That's really big because I can now make energy potions with all the Harrowlanders I got. And how many do I have? 85 of them. So I'm going to make these into energy potions. That'll make a running way better for questing so our energy will not run out as easily so let's go buy chocolate dust make these into energy potions there is pirate's treasure complete and there is elemental workshop 2 as well as 1 complete and that's going to bring the crafting level to smithing level to 36 and crafting level to 39 nice easy early levels there is Death Plateau complete, that's 3000 attack experience. Not good enough for a level, but we completed this quest so we can do the Troll Stronghold quest. And there is Troll Stronghold completed. You have to love the power of safe spotting with magic. Uh, this is great because when we start doing some Guardians of the Rift, we'll have access to the Law Altar to craft Law Runes, which will be invaluable for teleporting around Gilinor moving forward. There's Priest in Peril complete. And Drezzle's going to say a few things, and then we're going to see what that does to the prayer level. And we now have access to Mauritania, and that's 15 prayer. And an hour later, as well as like 20 energy potions, <laughs> Gosoi is complete. I don't remember it being that painful, but at least we got level 31 prayer. And the ectophile, which is big. So here I am, like a true noob, mining iron ore south of Ardoin. And the goal here is to be able to get my smithing to 40 so I can make gold bars as well as get my mage up through superheat item to that coveted level 49 magic so that I can enchant ruby necklaces being dig site pendants so that we can start the birdhouse runs. So to get about 150 iron ores here to get the smithing level to 40 and then i'm also going to be doing super heat for magic experience and i might even low elk or something but once we have that 40 smithing i can also do um the enchanting jewelry so we'll enchant all of our gold ores with gold bars into gold uh, rings rather emerald rings we'll make uh, rings of dueling we'll make games necklaces we'll do what we have to do we're going to get that 49 mage one way or another and we're going to get this 40 smithing so that's what's going on here and making those 85 energy potions almost got us to level 31 herb lore. Luckily, I have this mar until I can clean. Oh, that leaves me one experience short. Actually, I had five mar intils, so I'll clean one more. That'll be level 31 herb lore. And with this iron plate body, it's going to be level 40 smithing, which means we can turn our gold ore into gold bars. We're still reaping the rewards from Winter Tot. Let's get it. Right, so we just made our ruby necklaces, got 138 of them, bought some wizard's mind bombs, wizard's mind bombs from Birthorpe to get the magic level boosted. You can see that I'm only 48 uh, mage, need the 49 to get these enchanted, and we picked up 44 crafting in the process of making those necklaces. All right, welcome to my house. So what we need to do here is build a workshop and that's going to cost us 10,000 big coins, and that's fine right there. And what I need to do is build the clock making space. And we need the crafting table one. It needs four oak planks. I thought it was only one. Okay, the wiki let me down, or I misread. And we're back after a quick trip to the Castle Wars bank chest. I made a few rings of dueling as well with some of my gold bars and emeralds. We're going to make this clock making space and we're going to make the crafting table one. We're going to upgrade it to the crafting table two and here I can make my clockworks. So let's craft. We need the clockwork mechanism. We need four of them so we can make four 
of the birdhouse bases, I guess, that you need clockworks for. So we'll just make four of these real quick. Uh, it looks like I'm hard at work here. I'm literally just shuffling my hands around as per usual in this game. Gotta love it. And we have them, just like that, four steel bars later. So what I did was I made a stop at the house on the hill, used my dig site pendant on the strange machine, and now it seems to bind its magic to this place, so we can teleport directly to the um, fossil island teleport option on the dig site pendant now. So here we are on fossil island, let's do our very first birdhouse run of the account. Ah uh, yes, I should make all of these first, shouldn't I? Yes, let's make these. Make the birdhouse, click on the spot, click on the seeds, and a quick pit stop and drain ore to pick up some seeds from Olivia. Very popular name in today's society. And the one thing that's going to be unfortunate about these birdhouse runs is my run energy is going to run out like real quick. So picking up Graceful is going to be a real nice idea. But we're just going to build these birdhouse spaces, use the seeds on them, on the main account, I've done like 20 million XP worth of birdhouse runs, so I'm well aware of what these are. Oh yeah, and I haven't found any of these yet, so we gotta find those, right. Okay, after the long painful run over here to this part of the map, we can finish the birdhouse run. Uh, having low agility and no graceful, uh, not very fun. We're gonna have to patch that up pretty quick. And we'll touch this final magic mush tree. Now we have the options, Verdant Valley, Mushroom, Meadow House on the hill, so that's great. We can do the birdhouse runs easily. It's only going to be this one birdhouse run with the normal logs to make the birdhouses, then oak logs for a bit, willow logs, and before you know it, we'll be doing redwoods. So we'll be woodcutting to 90 earlier than I thought. And we've been doing these birdhouse runs for a little bit here, and just like that, we're already at level 35 hunter. We are now on teak birdhouses, so that is cool. And I think I've probably only done like 12 to 15 birdhouse runs, so uh, it's kind of uh, not as fun doing them on this account compared to my main where I do them with level 99 hunter and redwood logs because uh, I'll do a birdhouse around here and I'll get like three nests. Uh, so it's a little different. And with this next XP drop, that will be level 89 fishing. That's also total level of a thousand, so I believe we're going to make the Iron Woman status permanent. And this would prevent me from ever downgrading accidentally, so that's something we're probably going to go and do. But with a thousand total and 100 quest points, I think that's a nice time to call it for this episode. Um, made some good progress, got some questing done in this one. Also, uh, I went and picked up a fighter torso through uh, Barb Assault. Uh, obviously just use BA services. I'm not going to go ahead and uh, put in the time for that. Paid for it with the main. That is something I'd recommend anyone do that's coming from main to Iron Man if you want to go ahead and uh, pick up that fighter torso because that's going to come in real handy. But just to take a look at the skills here, um, still haven't touched ranged, haven't touched farming, and those are going to be arguably two of the most important skills to the account. So kind of funny that we're at a thousand without touching them yet, but the plan is to do the Golem and then Shadow of the Storm to get range started with like level 27 range. And farming, I just got to finish off uh, Fairy Tale Part 1. But Fairy Tale Part 1 has not been finished yet because one of the items required was baby dragon bones. And yes, I know that wouldn't be very difficult to get, but I'm going to wait until we get this 70 agility. Do Dragon Slayer 1. Only got three free to play quests left. Those three right there, but. Questing, yeah, the grind's going to continue. Barrow's Gloves are obviously an early goal. Um, yeah, this is where we're at here, 1,000 total. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.